Well, I'm lucky enough to live in an area where there's probably too much cell coverage in Los Angeles, but recently we went up to uh, Yellowstone National Park and up into Montana, and I found out there's areas in the United States where you can't use your cell phone. So I've stopped by the booth of SureCall, and I'm talking to Eric Mercel right now. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Does uh, the devices we're about to talk about, is this going to help that poor person out in uh, Montana? It'll help you out, not just in Montana, but also in urban areas. Your downtown, big buildings might be blocking coverage ah, as well. I've so. had that problem too. Yep. So this is audio and video. So as you talk through this, we'll have video, but I also may do more descriptive sure. descriptions of it. So you've got two products to talk about here that's going to boost the cell signal in a car. Is that right. correct? Yes. All right. Yeah. So Should we start with the end range? We'll start with the end range and then we'll go into the bigger one. So. Uh, SureCall makes a pretty wide range of products, first off. We do a lot of RV, we do a lot of mobile, but mobile has been so popular now with the connected car and the connected world. So we've got two products here that we're really showcasing. The first product is our N-Range product, and it's a very, very simple booster to install. This particular product right here is your antenna and your amplifier. It's a shark fin for your roof. It absolutely is. So this product is mounted on your roof. It's magnetized, so it's going to be able to stick to the roof very well. One cable, simple installation that's going to go right to your cradle, which your phone is going to stick to. You power this up, it powers up your amplifier via coax, and now you've got service within the vehicle. Now, how, how big of a signal boost is this, boost is this going to get at me? So it depends on the area that you're in, but these amplifiers by FCC and carrier rules are only allowed to be 50 dB worth of gain. So that's how much gain we're going to be able to add to the service. Holy cow, 50 dB, that's, yeah. that's healthy. It's very healthy. And it definitely keeps you connected when you're, when you're more remote. Now, I understand by speaking to the previous gentleman that this cradle that you're going to stick your phone to, um, this is the only phone that's going to get the signal boost, boost with the uh, end range, correct? Yes. Yeah, this is a single user device um, with a retail of $399. It, it, it meets a mark for us to be able to get into more people's cars to keep them connected. At the very least, at least you've got navigation going on one Absolutely. phone, right? Absolutely. Maybe little Timmy isn't in the back seat playing Fortnite, but that's okay. Timmy needs I, less screen time anyway. Yeah, it, it's up for us. We're the ones driving. We're in control. There you go. <laughs> so these are really thin cables. You just run those down around the edge of the, the car frame, and through, around the gasket, like into the, into the sure. door? Yeah, a lot of people will. Um, some people will move the gaskets and do a little bit more of a permanent install. But the beauty about this product is it's very transferable. So if you're working, you're a truck driver per se, you can throw it up in your cab in your vehicle. When you get home, get back to the lot, you can throw it back into your car and move on with your day. Oh, really? So very, okay. very simple to be able to utilize. Very good. Okay, so now I've got a family of 12 in the car and they all want to get online. Mm -hmm. We're going to move up to the big boy here, we right? Are. We the are. Big girl? I'm not sure. So, the, uh, the, the Fusion to go 3.0 is a little bit of a different beast. Um, it's, it's still very simple to install and uninstall if you want to be able to move from vehicle to vehicle. But you notice a couple different things. You've got a separate amplifier, a separate outdoor antenna or a donor line that's going to be able to pull that signal in. And then the biggest difference is when we look at our internal antenna itself. The inside antenna is going to be able to fill an entire cab for you to be able to do what you said earlier, provide service for everybody in the vehicle. Okay, so describing this to people, this time it's not a shark fin, it's a, uh, I don't know, a unicorn nose that go. says stick up. This is again magnetic, yes. runs down through coax, then that comes into this amplifier that looks like a giant heat sink to me. Yep. Let me lift that up. So it's got uh, DC 5 volts in, mm -hmm. and uh, it's got a coax input, coax output, then that goes to the internal antenna that's going to rebroadcast inside the car. Correct. Is that correct? And then the, the antenna looks just like it's like a business card is all the bigger it is yeah it's pretty pretty narrow we want to keep it uh, as low profile as we possibly can so we can you know keep with the what do I want to call it the ambiance of the vehicle if you will right right don't want to make it look nasty right. so it looks like it's got velcro any important placing in the car there no uh, wherever you set you it on the carpet set it on the ground Good. You could, the closer the better. It's a pretty low power antenna, okay. so we do want to get up closer. Uh, my personal vehicle, I put it right on my uh, uh, golf compartment. Oh, okay, that's a perfect console. spot. Got it, got it, got it. And so floods the whole entire car. Mm -hmm. Okay, very mm -hmm. cool. So the uh, Fusion to Go 3.0, because it's got to have a 3.0, yes. uh, how much does that list for? Uh, 3 dollars Okay, well. great. So where would people go to find uh, the uh, SureCall devices? You can buy our devices. You can learn about them on SureCall.com, but you can purchase them from a lot of our retail partners that are out there, Etail, Amazon, uh, Best Buy, things like that. You can buy them for them. Very cool. Well, this solves a real problem. Like I said, I wasn't real sympathetic until it happened to me, and now it's now I understand. Yeah, so I know a lot of yes. people are truck drivers that listen, uh, RV drivers. This would be a great solution. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much for the uh, interview. Thank you. Appreciate it.